Destruction and devastation again in New Orleans after a tornado ripped through part of that city last night. This is the damage in St. Bernard Parish captured by a drone. The sheriff there says at least one person died and eight more injured. The governor, John Bell Edwards, declaring a state of emergency in Orleans Parish and the surrounding area. And here's the path. National Weather Service estimates the tornado was on the ground for 11 miles in the dark of night, traveled across the Mississippi River, right through the heart of New Orleans East, where the Ninth Ward is, where Hurricane Katrina left people stuck on their roofs 17 years ago, and where Hurricane Ida brought devastation just last year. NBC's local station in New Orleans, WDSU, was live when the tornado touched down. Their chief meteorologist, Margaret Orr, again warning people, take shelter. Okay, folks, get to your safe place. This is something I hoped I would never see. And there it is. And in nearby Chalmette, you can hear the panic after the storm passed. <laughs> Dude, everything's destroyed. People wandering out of their homes to find it all gone. The National Weather Service giving this storm a preliminary rating of at least an EF3. That's considered a severe tornado. Wind gusts up to 165 miles an hour. The National Guard stepping in to help clear away the damage. The New Orleans mayor, Latoya Cantrell, says about by 11 o'clock tonight, everyone in the city should have their power back. CBC's Perry Russum live on scene in Araby in St. Bernard's Parish. Araby, a small town on the east bank of the Mississippi River between New Orleans' Lower Ninth Ward and the town of Chalmette. Perry. Jeb, walking through the neighborhood, it really is incredible to see how this tornado jumped from house to house. You have homes like this one across the street, which are essentially fine, and this one here that is not. Just a few different walls that are standing. We spoke with a man who lives here. He said they had two different bathrooms to choose from, but they chose the one that has that firewall. He says that wall and that decision is what kept them alive. There are blocks of broken homes in Araby. Families stand in the skeletons of where they lived. They pick up whatever the tornado left behind. Looking at it, you got to be realistic. How much are you really going to find? You know, Things blow away. Bonnie Norris says she doesn't know where to start. She was hiding in her bathtub when the wind picked up. So you were hiding right there when that tornado hit. She started praying to God. He has prepared me for this moment, and I will survive. He's, he's groomed me to survive. When she was pulled from the splintered wood, Norris says all she wanted was this heart-shaped frame. It means everything since that's the only picture I have of him now. A picture of her son who died two years ago. How did it feel when you realized that you still have that? Thankful, that very thankful. Homes have been ripped from their foundation. Meg Atkinson's house was pierced by debris. What do you even start doing, you know? Do you start cleaning everything up or do we just pack a bag and take a few days off and then come back to it? Flying into New Orleans, you see blue tarps on roofs covering scars from previous storms. We just put a new roof on here for, after I <laughs> You know, we need a, another new roof. <laughs> Barbara Richardson says a fender from an RV speared her son's room. Landed on the floor right behind him. Nora says she's going back to work tomorrow. A rush to normalcy with her home gone. Today we're here to get what we can salvage. And then we'll worry about getting rest tonight. And tomorrow we'll start another day. And right now, power crews are working to get the lights turned back on as soon as they possibly can. And speaking with people down here today, one woman told us, look, we're used to cleaning up from hurricanes, but not tornadoes. She said if she had the decision between a hurricane or a tornado, she said she would pick the hurricane. She said water damage is so much easier than what they saw last night. Wow. Harry Russum, once again in New Orleans.